Hey foodies! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some tamarind glazed wings, Roma's kitchen style. So we need 9 pieces of chicken wings for this recipe. I've already washed and cleaned my wings with lime and water. You can use vinegar and water also. They're nice and clean and I drained all the water. So now I'm going to get into seasoning this. Now you don't want to over season this because you don't want to take away from that tamarind glaze. So first things first, I'm going in with one teaspoon of garlic powder, then a half teaspoon of ginger powder, next only a pinch of salt, don't want this to be salty. Next I'm going to be adding in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, then I'm going in with two and a half teaspoons of chicken seasoning and I'm adding here Maggie chicken seasoning you can find the link to that in the description box I'm also going to be adding to this one tablespoon of dark soy sauce then lastly I'll be adding in one tablespoon of olive oil All right, so after adding in all those, I'm now just going to rub all that seasoning all over my wings, ensuring that each, each piece of wing is nicely coated with all this seasoning goodness. And you can leave this for like 30 minutes to marinate. All right, about that time, I have here my tray lined with foil paper, and I'm going to add all nine wings on my tray. And you don't want to bake these for long so the moment you get these on all nine on you just want to stick them in your preheated oven so ensure that your oven is on already warm and I'm only going to be baking these for 15 minutes at first while I work on my sauce so add these in for 15 minutes and work on my sauce so to start the sauce, I have here over low heat, three and a half cups of water. And to this, I'm going to be adding in the tamarind paste. Now this is how it looks. You can also find the link for the tamarind paste in the description box. I'm going to be adding it in the water right now. And that's 400 grams of the tamarind paste. So next, I'm going to be adding in four pieces of ginger. I just washed my ginger and cut it into four pieces and smashed it. I need this to be nice and gingery. So here I'm using my fork to kind of separate the pieces of the tamarind paste. Once you have it in the hot water, it will be easy for you to do that because we want to get this liquid nice and well concentrated with that tamarind flavor. So after you break this up, you want to leave it over low heat for another three minutes so you can get that gingery flavor all in and then you're going to turn your stove off leave this to cool then you're going to strain out all the liquid and rest it aside until we're ready for it now on to making the sauce further I'm adding to my pot here one tablespoon of olive oil next I'm going to be adding in some green onions or scallion this is just one stalk that I chopped and you really want to turn your stove down at this point because you don't want to burn anything. Next, I'm going to be adding in two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Add that all in. And I need this to have tanginess. I need this to have some heat and flavor. So I'm adding in a quarter of a quarter of a scotch bonnet pepper and I've also added a few seeds in it so you'll get the heat from that now I'm going to be adding in the liquid I got from 
the tamarind paste the ginger and the water this is what i strained now this is tangy right now this is really tangy right now and plus you have that heat from the scotch bonnet so you want to add in some sugar to this and i'm adding in one cup of brown sugar to get this nice and on the sweet side and if you want more sauce you can always run some more water through the tamarind that's left to get more next i'm going in with some orange juice and this is a half cup of freshly squeezed orange juice you can use boxed orange juice or even pineapple juice to this i'm also going to be adding in two tablespoons of ketchup add that all in and to add more flavor and more sweetness i'm going in with one tablespoon of honey And then right now you just want to add this over about, about medium heat for it to boil and then once you start to see some big bubbles coming in you can turn this down to medium or even low and allow this to simmer until your chicken is ready you want it to look just like this no cornstarch needed so now here are my wings after 15 minutes they're actually finished cooking but i'm going to be basting these with the tamarind sauce so i'm going to fill this up because trust me guys this sauce very 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 good this sauce is so good you can always remove some of your sauce and leave it to the side for some dipping sauce because it's made it makes an excellent dipping sauce so you want to cover them right now like this then once you get to cover one side, once you fill it up with that sauce, you can flip your wings and add more sauce to them as well. And as I said guys, if you want more sauce, you can always run some more water through the tamarind that's left if you haven't discarded of it and you can get more tamarind sauce fill this all up and then once you have added all the glaze on both sides you can stick this back in your oven for just a good two to three minutes to get them nice and sticky about that time they're out of the oven nice and sticky trust me guys if you try this sauce you'll de you'll definitely tell me that this was worth it i really 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 love this sauce my tamarind glazed wings you can use this on fish you can use this on drumsticks you can use this on chicken thighs it's all up to you this makes an excellent dipping sauce of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel and turn your post notifications on until next video.